have a very exciting video for you today. I'm going to be trying out a bunch of things from the new Catrice Spring Summer 2024 update. I recently did a video talking about everything and also talking about what I wanted to try. I picked up most things. I did not get my hands on everything, so there might be another video dedicated to those. I don't know, but at least today we're going to try what I got. Let's get into it. This time around, I actually got a lot of different eye products. I don't think I'm going to be able to really showcase every eye product that I have here today. I am going to be doing some shorts as well to kind of do some other looks and give you an idea of everything that I got here. First thing that I have for the eyes is the Catrice Deep Matte Liquid Eyeshadow. I got two shades because I was really like interested in what this actually is gonna be. It's supposed to be a... It is actually supposed to be waterproof. So we're gonna see. I hope this is gonna be nice. I hope this is gonna stay on my eyes. I got the shades... Cotton Candy, 010 Cotton Candy. It is kind of like a lilac -y shade, but when I swatched it, I actually thought that the shade of the actual product is a bit different than what we see in the outer packaging. It's a little bit more soft. I do really like the shade. I think I'm gonna try this out today. We also have the Deep Matte Liquid Eyeshadow in shade 020 Bloomy Breeze. This is definitely a little bit more of a brighter blue. As you can see in the swatch, I am very excited to try this out. I think I'm gonna zoom you in. We're just gonna start with the liquid eyeshadow and then we're gonna do like the rest of the eye products. All right, I did apply a little bit of eye primer before this because I have very oily eyelids and usually the liquid eyeshadows don't work well enough to stay put and I want this to stay put. So we're just gonna see. I don't think I've ever really tried a liquid eyeshadow like this okay that feels interesting i thought it was gonna feel more cool but it feels more almost moussey okay that blends out pretty easily i would say it's very subtle let's see if i can build it up a little bit the color itself is pretty subtle i do feel like that is pretty buildable okay i feel like that's a pretty effortless and easy liquid eyeshadow but it is very like no makeup makeup even though it is a brighter type of shade and i feel like that's really dried down already like you do have some time to manipulate that but after a minute or so it's gonna feel dried down I do like the color, it is pretty subtle. I have to see like how I wanna use this in other looks and how this is gonna mesh with other type of eyeshadow products, but so far so good. At least it's not a total mess, at least it blended out. All right, something that I'm super excited about are these Space Glam Chrome eyeshadows. We have three shades. I bought them all when I was talking about these in the video, like talking about all new products. These were some of the eyeshadows or some of the products I was the most excited about. Um, I already swatched these and these swatch beautifully. They are just very shifty, shiny. They feel very creamy. I really like the shades. This white one, this white one is kind of like an iridescent, a light blue to yellowy. I think it's gonna be really nice. It's kind of like an inner corner highlight shade. And then we have a purple one that goes kind of like from a cooler tone purple to a warmer tone purple. Very interesting. And then the green one I feel is the most shifty. It has something golden, it has something warm green, and then something like kind of cool green. For this look, because I applied the lilac -y eyeshadow, I wanna try the purple one. And I'm just going to be applying this one with my finger. It just looks super smooth on my finger already. And I don't know, I can really see a lot of different colors in here. Kind of like bronze, purple, that more reddish purple, more cool purple. Is this a multi-chrome? Is this... Is this a multi-chrome? Are we getting multi-chromes from Catrice? But they're not really like saying it's multi-chrome. It just says chrome. But if this... Could this be like the start of multi-chromes in like the regular drugstore? That would be really cool. Okay, I'm gonna apply this. Ooh, that is super stunning. I think this might be the prettiest eyeshadow that I've tried from Catrice so far. That is... That looks really nice. Super smooth, very sparkly. I see a lot of shifts in here. That is just really nice. And this uh, eyeshadow line, I believe, is pretty affordable as well. Like 
four euros maybe and this looks really really cool i'm gonna blend out the edges a little i do think i need to put something else on the crease to kind of balance it all out i'm gonna do that later um and now i want to take the chrome eyeshadow in moonlight 010 moonlight and i want to put that in the inner corner and i'm just gonna see if this is a formula that i can easily back on with a brush yes that is so nice that went so well Ooh, i love this shade kind of yeah it's kind of like this cool yellow type of color okay i love this i love this i think this is gonna be my favorite catrice eyeshadow product i've ever tried i'm actually blown away next up i actually got another one of the slim eyeshadow palettes i tried two of them before one that i liked one that i didn't like this is the safari fever slim eyeshadow palette they changed the packaging now you can actually see from the outside what's inside we have 14 shades in here this is a very neutral leaning palette with a few pops a little bit of green a little bit of orange and a pop of kind of like brownish red i I didn't mind the swatches of this. It looked pretty good. Um, and because we already have a lot going on, this eyeshadow palette I'm gonna do a separate look with in a short. I just need this to kind of like finish up this look. I'm gonna go into the shade Earth and I'm gonna put it in the outer corner and the crease. Just, I just wanna see how this like works together with the cream eyeshadow or the liquid eyeshadow. like. Do they blend together? Do it, does it get stuck? And I just feel like this is a thing this look needs. I feel like that works quite well. I'm gonna take a clean brush in a second to blend it further. Just blending this a little. And I think I'm gonna go into this eyeshadow palette for something for the lower lash line as well. I think I'm gonna go into Savannah. This is just a mid-tone neutrally brown. Just add a little bit here. So far the pigment of these shades is good. And now I'm gonna take the shade Earth again and I'm gonna smoke it out a little bit more here. And I think, I think I'm gonna add the green chrome eyeshadow as well. Just for funsies, just to try this one out as well. And I'm just gonna... Take the brush that I used for the whitish one as well. Just gonna apply it on the lower lash line. That looks <laughs> that looks amazing. I mm, this is better than some indie formulas that I've tried. I feel like they really did their research. I love how this lower lash line looks now. All right, next thing that I wanna try is this Skin Glaze Hydrating Serum Primer. So this is squalene in it. You're supposed to shake it and just apply it all over the face. It is a primer. It is very liquidy. It has a dropper. It looks kind of like it has a sheen, kind of like an iridescent sheen. I don't think you're really gonna see that on the skin. Never really applied a product like this, so I'm a little, look unsure this seemed very liquidy so i'm just gonna put a few drops on my hand Ooh, looks kind of pink on my hand it feels very like smooth and you know i can use some hydration in the summer usually i'm fine i can even get a little shiny but right now i could use some something like this i got some blue on my face i don't know maybe it's for my pants from my jeans okay ignore ignore me <laughs> all right it definitely feels sticky just a slight stick not too crazy now that it is sunken in felt a little tingly when i first applied it let me look at these ingredients nothing weird i think no perfume i don't think it looks too glowy i do think it made my i do think it made my skin look nice and it just feels a little sticky i I think I like this. No weird glitters or anything. It doesn't look weird. It looks good. I'm just I'm just applying some concealer and I'm just seeing a little bit of weirdness here. Like it's getting stuck to something. And usually I don't have that problem with this concealer. So it seems um uh, that this primer isn't totally working out. Or maybe I should have waited a little longer, but I did feel like it was 
sunken in. On this side, it looks fine. Why does it look bad on this side? What did I do here? Did I apply too much of the primer? What did I do? That looks so weird. Okay, I think I'm just gonna leave that for now. Can't really do much about it now. I am gonna apply the Soft Glam Face Filter Fluid on top of this primer just to see how it sits on top of a tinted product. I think it's just the concealer. I think the concealer isn't vibing with this primer. I don't know why. Maybe it's something about the base not meshing because I feel like this uh, tinted product by Catrice is meshing just fine. I don't see any weirdness on my skin. I actually think it looks good. So probably it's just the concealer that isn't working and then it's my fault. If anything looks different, my camera just totally froze. It was really weird. I hope everything is working again. Uh, I didn't pick up a mascara to try from Catrice. I didn't see any newness that I wanted to try, so I just used the Sky High Mascara in shade Brown. And now we're moving on to the Magic Shaper Face Cream Palette. There's only one colorway in this one, so I'm very interested to see if this is gonna work on my fair skin. I do have to say in the swatches, the colors seemed pretty scary. This is 010 Holy Grail and it's a buildable cream formula. We have bronzers, blush and highlighter shade. Accentuate the face, leave a natural finish. So yeah, very interesting. I was expecting this palette to be a little bigger, but it's very travel friendly. The formulas in here felt very kind of like balmy, creamy, and not really like the cream to powder, very, very emollient. So we're gonna see if this is gonna work on my skin. I'm kind of scared. Okay, I am just gonna use the Singe F03 and I'm gonna dip into the cool toned bronzer and we're gonna see if this is like so easily blendable that it doesn't matter that it is a pretty deep shade. Um, Let's see. See, I really hope this is not gonna be muddy. Maybe it looks a little muddy. Hmm. I don't know, I feel like that's a bit deep. By the way, this palette smells pretty bad. It smells like paint. Now that I'm, I'm, it smells very chemically paint. I don't know, I think it's a little deep on me now. I feel like maybe if I'm a little bit more tan, this might work on me, but now, I'm not too sure about this one. I'm gonna use the other shade, which looks a little lighter on the other side. And let's see if that might be better for me. The thing with first impressions is sometimes it's gonna go wrong. Sometimes it's not gonna look good. And right now I just love my eyeshadow, but I'm a little unsure about these colors. I think this one is a little too deep on me. Like it's so cool toned and it's quite deep. This one I quite like actually. I quite like the finish. I'm gonna use that one on the forehead as well. It blends out pretty easily. I just, I don't know. I don't know if this is gonna be like a universally flattering palette. It's just, why did they only bring out one? Would have been so nice to have like at least two colorways. I know Catrice isn't like a brand that really likes to do a lot of different colors in things but at least two give us a little more i'm gonna take my face brush what did i use on the face i'm just gonna blend this a little that was a little too much i kind of want to put the other oh, am i gonna make a mistake i'm gonna put a little bit of the other shade over here that shade is just a little lighter and it's still pretty neutral so I feel like it's still going with my skin tone. It's not too warm. A little on the chin. All right, I'm gonna use the same brush to apply a blush. And we have a very cool tone pink and then we have a very warm corally shade, a very out there shade. I think I'm gonna go with the corally shade. I'm gonna dip in twice because I think it's gonna be pretty bright and yes. Uh, let's see if we can blend this out. I think that is going quite well. I like a semi-pigmented buildable cream formula. Mm, I don't know. 
I don't know about that. I feel like it looks a little blotchy. Let's apply a little more. I don't know, man. I feel like that looks a little blotchy. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. See what the result is here. I'm just really like stippling it on. I'm not swiping. I feel like it looks better on this side. Maybe it was a fluke. Maybe I did something wrong. It is very, very bright, bright though. It is a very bright blush. I'm gonna take a brush to kind of blend out the edge and to tone it down a little bit. Of course, we're still gonna use the highlighter. And I feel like as you go on with your makeup, usually the blush fades a little. It definitely has this natural finish. It does dry down. It doesn't stay sticky. This is what it's looking like right now without any highlighter yet. This is a very, very interesting palette. Of course, I have to try it out with different things for the base. I also try things out without any foundation or tinted product on the face. Um, the primer could also change things a little bit. I want to dip into the lightest highlighter. And I think I'm going to apply this with a finger. This lightest highlighter did seem pretty subtle. So let's see. I usually don't use a lot of highlighters that are kind of like in a pan that are cream. It's usually more like stick or liquid. Just tapping that in. I'm just gonna blend it in a little bit with the brush. It does have shimmer particles. I don't know if I like really love it. I'm gonna use a little bit on the forehead as well. Yeah, it's definitely shimmery. Um, there seems to be a glow to it, but there also seems to be shimmer to it. And I feel with shimmers, I always have to see it kind of like in different lighting, but it's already dark, so there's not much sunlight to see this in. I don't... Mm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I think about this whole palette, actually. It is definitely not bad but i don't know if i'm blown away by the way my cheeks are looking right now i almost feel like it's looking a little dirty like it's looking not smooth it's looking a little messy um and i like my cream products to be super effortless so i'm not sure about that one all right i have another highlighter that i want to try in this look this is the catrice space glam hollow highlighter this highlighter is not holographic, but it is kind of like a shimmery iridescent highlighter. Seems to have kind of like a shift from pinky purple to yellow in it with a kind of like iridescent to grayish white base. So it's almost looking a little bit like a multicrome highlighter, but I feel like that's taking it a little far maybe. But I really, really was excited to try this one out. So let's apply this to the other cheek. By the way, I'm totally forgetting my brows. We're getting to the brows. I got something for the brows. I'm gonna take my Cinch Beauty F07 and I'm gonna take a little bit. It looks pretty like, like they have pretty big particles here. It looks pretty glittery. Let's see. Ooh, that is very shiny, sparkly, purpley looking. Makes me think almost a little bit of Kaleidos highlighters. Even though I haven't really tried those. I haven't tried those multichrome highlighters, but... Ooh, very interesting. It is sparkly, but it's sparkly in a way that it looks like this veil of shimmer. That's the type of sparkle highlighter that I like. It doesn't look chunky. It doesn't look like individual sparkles just i think this looks really cool this is also one where i really want to see it in different lighting but so far i think this looks really nice just looks like this very cool sparkly colorful highlighter i'm gonna apply a little bit of this to the other side as well to match everything a little a little bit on the forehead even though <laughs> that might look a little weird <laughs> it's a little out there Hmm, gonna blend it a little. Maybe I made a mistake with it. I don't think... I think it's a good thing that I'm not going out with this look. I do think I like the combination of the two highlighters on this cheek. It makes the sparkly highlighter, the hollow highlighter, a little bit more soft almost. A little bit more wearable. I almost feel like the blush underneath moves a little bit. 
Next, I want to try the Super Glue Brow Styling Gel. When I saw this, I was actually very interested because it says ultra strong hold. And I actually kind of want to try this first at least without filling my brows in because I really want to see what this does on its own. So this has a really small spoolie and when you kind of like pull this out of the packaging, it seems very liquidy. Like this seems super, super liquid. So we're going to see if I'm going to like this. It's very different. Uh, it feels very jelly. It's very different from anything else that I've tried. Very, it feels very sticky. Ooh, that's very weird. I can imagine that this is gonna get like stuck, but I don't know if it really makes the brows fluffy because it's so liquidy, it kind of makes them look just jelly. I don't know if I like this look on its own. What do you think? Do you think it's gonna get stuck, but it doesn't make your brows at least my brows look really fluffy. I'm gonna try this side without brushing it down first. Maybe that's better. Yeah, I think I like that better. Okay, I can really feel already that it's drying down and that it's really stuck on my face. I think this is gonna be a very strong hold indeed, if you don't like that much of a strong hold. If you don't wanna feel like your brows are glued to your face, this is not the one for you. If I'm not mistaken, this is the last product that I wanna try in this video. This is the last thing that I could get my hands on. This is the Shine Balm Liquid Lip Lacquer that is supposed to be long lasting. It's a shiny liquid lipstick with intense color payoff, comfortable wear, non-drying, shake well before use. I'm kind of feeling like, could this be similar to the Maybelline glossy, kind of like sticky liquid lipsticks that stay on. Could it be something like that? Because you also have the Shake These and you also have the Shake the Maybelline ones and they just give me the same kind of vibe. I got three shades. First up, I got the one in 010 French Silk. This is kind of like a peachy like nude. Then I got the shade 020 Good Taste. This is more of a lighter mauve shade. And then I also got a brighter shade. This is the shade 060 Pinky Promise. For this look, I'm just gonna try one of these out. I'm just gonna see how long it stays on. I'm probably not gonna eat anything more today, but we're just gonna see how it feels in a few hours, if it feels dry. And by the time this video is up, I can like put a little pin comment with some updates. I'm gonna take off the hydrating product that I have on now, and I'm gonna shake this up. Don't really feel like much is happening. We're gonna see there are no other instructions. Let's apply. It doesn't seem too thick. It went on pretty easily, pretty smoothly. I'm gonna wait and see if this dries or what happens. The scent of this is very interesting. It smells kind of like vanilla strawberry milk or something. Maybe it isn't even that, but it just it makes me think of that. The lips seem to be dry but they don't feel sticky or dry. It doesn't feel like a thick layer. It, I don't really know what to think. Like, is this gonna stay on? If this stays on, then it's gonna be a really nice product because it feels really nice and was really easy to apply. Like, it's super comfortable. Like, really. All right, so this is gonna be the finished look. I feel like I went through a whole journey with all of these different products, uh, kind of like an emotional roller coaster. And some of these I am very excited, with some of these I'm not really sure yet. But at this point, I have to say, I do really like how the look is looking overall. All right, first up, I tried the liquid eyeshadow. I have to say, it blended out really easily, it didn't have any issues, it dried down. I just really have to see how this wears on its own. I really have to see how it plays with other things. I have to see about the different shades. Um, this one is just very subtle and can't say much about it just yet. It kind of disappeared in the look here, but these are really interesting products because so far I haven't had any issue with it. And it also could have been like, super lightly pigmented or impossible to blend. So, so far so good. Next up, we have the Space Glam Chrome Eyeshadow. These are kind of like dual chrome to multi-chrome, super shiny, shifty shades. I feel like the best eyeshadow that I've tried personally from the drugstore, I feel like these are gonna be very hyped, very popular and for good reason. I love my eye look. 
I hope they come out with more shades because this is so good. Like I actually think this is an amazing formula. It's not good for Catrice, it's not good for the price. It's actually a beautiful, beautiful eyeshadow formula. And if you pick up anything, I would say go for these because this is really something different for the drugstore and it's just... It's really nice. Then the Safari Fever eyeshadow palette. So far so good. Don't have any complaints about it. It's a pretty basic color story, but it has a few pops. I think it's quite a cute one, even though it's not revolutionary. I just, I still have to see about the quality, but the eyeshadows that I use so far, I like. Then the primer, I have to try it with a few different things. I have to really see how I feel about it. Um, if I really feel it is hydrating, like it looked pretty good, it felt pretty good, it didn't really work with my only under eye concealer, so that's a little bit of an issue, but yeah. I'm gonna try it out a little more. Then the Magic Shaper face cream palette. I really have to try that more. I really have to try that with a different base, with different things. Um, maybe even when I'm a little bit more tan. I, right now, I just, I don't know how to feel. Like the shades are just, I just don't really know if I think this formula is perfecting enough for me. And I don't really know, it's a bit hard to tell. Like, is it messy or not? Is it working out or not? The highlighter mm, didn't really love that much. So it's really about those bronzers and blushes. Are these really gonna be for me? The smell is gonna be off-putting for some people, I think. Then we have the Space Glam Holo Highlighter. If you've been eyeing the Kaleidos highlighters, it's not gonna be the exact same thing because the Kaleidos are even a little bit more chunky than this. But if you've been eyeing those kind of like to a chrome, multi-chrome, sparkly highlighters from indie brands, but you felt like they were a little expensive. Like, this is a great alternative to that. I really like how my cheek is looking. Like, it's not a wearable everyday highlighter by far. It's very colorful, but I just really like how my cheek is looking. Like, I'm usually not that into sparkly highlighters, but this one I think is really cute. The Brow Super Glue, it does what it says. I think it looks pretty good in the brows. I just, if you like your brows to stay up, then this is this is gonna be it. I'm gonna try it out, of course, if it's gonna be, if my brows are gonna stay up in the winter weather, in the snow, in the rain, in the storm. We're gonna see, but so far I like it. And then this shine bomb situation. I feel like if this stays on, if this is gonna stay on my lips through eating, talking and everything, then this might be like, better than the Maybelline ones because the Maybelline one is a little sticky. It's something you kind of have to accept to be able to wear those colors, to be able to have something long wearing. You just have to accept that it's a little sticky, a little uncomfortable, a little thick. This feels much thinner. This feel, feels much better on the lips. And I do feel like it has right down. It's just a very interesting formula. And I feel like there's a lot of potential here. Can't wait to try this out more. And then that's actually gonna be everything for today's video. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye bye!